Hey, this is Brother Jeff. I'm going to show you how to get started with the new Storyline Player Skins. Now, you access the Player Skins by coming over in the library, coming over to Player Skins, and coming down to Articulate Storyline Skins. If I access that, um, right now there's just one here, but there will be many more to be, at, to be added in this section. And if I select this option, this will give me a preview to see what the skin looks like. I can go through and just test out the course, see all the different buttons, how the buttons are gonna look on different pages, the play, the pause, the seek bar, uh, the glossary button, the notes and uh, menu and everything like that. One thing to keep in mind is Articulate has not made every feature in the SDK uh, available. So we do list out what is not available. And so you will lose some features from the default player um, so that's just one thing to take a look into that and you can um, if you do want more of those I would suggest contacting Articulate directly but uh, for now this is what's supported inside of the uh, desktop version of our Articulate Storyline. So the way that I access these files is I go ahead and I click on where it says Gizmo Player Files and I click on this download button. This will download the two different files that you need to um, replace inside of your inside of your published storyline course. So you see there's two different files. There's one called color.xml and there's one called frame.swf. Well, I don't need to do anything with those yet. First of all, I need to come into my storyline project and after I've built my course, I've tested out all the pages, uh, the only thing I need to do is click on publish. And if I click on publish here, um, I go ahead and select the folder I want to publish to and go ahead and click on publish. And this will publish out my course, all of the uh, content, all of my games, all of my templates um, to a normal storyline player. And what we're going to do is once it's done publishing is we're going to replace that player with an eLearning Brothers custom skin, uh, a custom player basically. And then that way we'll see what it's going to look like. Uh, we'll see how it adjusts once this has been published out. Now, okay, so there it is. It's now done. If I come into that folder, here it is. Here's my storyline project. If I was to double click on the story.html, it would pull up the storyline skin. And you'll see all the custom stuff that I've done to the skin, the cut colors and everything like that. So just the normal storyline skin. Well, by coming over to these two different uh, folders, and so we have the downloaded folder from the library, and we have the published project. All I need to do is go into the story underscore content folder. And if I double click on that, you'll notice a lot of different files to choose from. Um, well, if I want to apply the skin, the only thing I need to do is take both the color.xml and the frame.swf, copy those two, and then place them inside of that story underscore content. Now, what happens is if I come back in go back uh, and then I come back in and click on the story.html, it's gonna pull up the same course, but it's now going to have the custom skin applied to it. So you can see now that it has the eLearning Brothers play button, the next, the back, the menu that slides in and slides out. And so all of these features are now available to you on the desktop version. So if I come back in here, there's a couple other things that you can do. If you go into the story underscore content file and then come down to color.xml, and this is the file that we dragged and dropped in there along with the frame.swf file. Well, if you open that up inside of any text editor, you'll actually have the ability to change the colors of this player and change to different uh, colors, aspects, and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, let's delete that. And here you go. So the color aspect you'll notice we have our top bar uh, bottom bar and this is where i can change the color the next button the hover the uh, icon color as well the previous button submit button volume button seek bar progress bar um, replay button icon as well as scroll bar and so we can see the scroll bar thumb scroll bar grip track and so a lot of this we can go in and we can change the colors of um, and so instead of having to change the colors inside of Articulate Storyline, um, you just basically change the color inside of here. So if I come in here and change, if I just find like a, a hex value, let's go ahead and try to change the top bar to this color here. And I'm going to come in and leave the zero and the X. I'm going to go ahead and delete the numbers after it and just paste that in. Well, if I come back into here and just hit refresh, you'll notice that now my top bar is green. 
Now there is a dark gradient above that. If I want to get rid of that gradient, all I have to do is change the alpha to zero. And what happens in this color top bar, if I change that alpha attribute to zero, is now it's just a brighter color. So now it's not, it doesn't have that dark gradient. Now you can change that back up if you do want that dark gradient. Let's say let's up it to 90. Um, then it's even, I mean, you see a slight gray, green to it, um, but most of it is there. Preview it again. So there we see our green. And so it takes a little adjusting, but you can change the aspects of the, the menu. You can change the aspects of the buttons. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to pick a different color and let's change the next button. So I'm going to come back in here and go to next and I'm going to say the upstate to the new color. And now you'll notice the next button has a new color there. So that's how you go in and that's how you start adjusting the different colors, how you apply the custom skin um, from the eLearning Brothers template library to uh, a published course inside of Articulate Storyline.